tough win like that to uh, as you head to into the last half of the season? Well, I, I think we're off to a decent start. We've uh, improved through the first uh, five games. Uh, I'm glad. I, I didn't realize that we hadn't won at Cal Poly in, in that period of time. Good win by our guys down there. We're doing some good things. We're, uh, you know, we're a work in progress, but we're trying to become a complete, complete football team. And I think we're making progress to that end. Question: Are you maybe further along at this point in the season than you thought you were? What might be a couple months ago? I don't know, Sean. I, I didn't really have a bunch of preconceived notions. Um, you know, I, I, as we've talked, all of us, um, you know, as coaches, we see all the, the chinks in the armor. And so I, you know, we focus in on those and try to improve them. So, you know, we're the, I'm probably the worst one to ask in terms of where that is and where it's going. But I like the work that, uh, that the staff and the team are doing. And I think the, the spirit of wanting to improve Game in, game out, week in, week out, both through the off season and, and then now in the fall has been good. Coach, how about playing that way on the road? It's been a few games this team won a road game, and how important was that to play that well there? Well, you know, home and road, you got to play to win, and, and uh, going down there and, and playing a pretty complete football game was, was good, Derek. Coach, you, you guys made three stops out of five fourth down attempts that they had, especially against a triple option team that's going to get their yards on the ground. How big was that to be able to, to step up in those big big fourth down situations? Well, it was huge. I mean, they're, they're essentially turnovers or takeaways. Uh, you know they're going into the week. They're going to be going for it, some on fourth down, especially when they're in plus territory. And, you know, we really didn't play well enough on first down. And, Kind of gave them those opportunities, or they, they took them. You know, they they played better on first down than we did, and uh, you know, so they had some fourth and shorts, and it was big when we came up with those stops. Certainly, no sacks. They're hard to stop in that situation. No sacks allowed this week. The running game's been kind of racking up yards the last couple of weeks. It's easy to say that the offensive line is improving, but what's been the biggest specific improvement you've seen from them from the start of the season? Well, it, you know, it's tight ends too. They're included in that group. Sure. They're uh, they're probably blocking a little better. They're a little better targeted. Uh, I think they're a little more sure of themselves, so they're they're playing a little faster. And when you play faster and you're more assured, you're probably going to play a little bit better. Uh, you know, they they've done some some good things the last couple of weeks. We've got a long way to go, but they've done a good job. What's your Sorry. What have you thought about the emergence of Matt Renswold at tight end in particular? Uh, having to get a little deeper into it there. Yeah, Matt's doing a good job. He's he's a freshman, and sh that shows. But uh, you know, for a freshman, he's he's doing an exceptional job, I would say. And I think before he's done at Montana, he'll be really, really fine tight end for us. Coach, what effect do you think that Dalton rushing for over 200 yards last week had on the run game opening up, you know, from the running backs, I guess I should say, this week? Um, you know, it's it's option football, and that's it's not triple option, but it's option football, and so they have to account for it. So in theory, that's why people do it, is to try to create some space, and, and I think that's happened, certainly. Portland State, I mean, their record is what it has been for the last couple of years. Um, when you look at them on tape, what stands out? Well, there's a couple things. One, you know, with with, uh, with Bruce being there, they're always going to find a way to run it. And they're, they're, they're going to uh, try to control the game with their run, rush offense. Uh, they'll use multiple personnel groups. I mean, they've got one group that's got four tight ends in the game at one, one time, which is unique in itself. And so they'll, they'll find, they'll, they'll formation you, personnel you, and they're going to find ways, and they'll be insistent upon running it. And then uh, uh, they're they're playing uh, they're playing good pass defense right now um, with uh, Coach Sadat there. They've brought out some flex defense, which we haven't seen in a while, 
and he's kind of an expert at it and with his background he's played different versions of it for for many years and that that structure can give you problems it has given us problems over the years and then they're coming off a, a great defensive effort last year or excuse me last week at, at Idaho where they gave up 289 yards and their defense only gave up 13 points so you know they're they're doing some really good things you know they're a concern and, and you know these conference games are huge no matter who is on the other sideline every one of these things is huge especially in a league where you don't play everybody Robbie oh, sorry uh, it's homecoming this week um, does that add anything to how you prepare or what's on the table, I guess? For, yeah, it means we've got to go to a pep rally Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. You, the preparation's always huge for me. Robbie, what are some of the difficulties in facing that triple option attack, and then what can you take kind of from that preparation moving forward the rest of the year? Uh, I'd say the base thing about defending the triple option is uh, having good eye discipline and truly playing your 111th on the just because if one guy's not doing their job, that's where the offense will uh, uh, make their plays. So, um, and then carrying that on to you know next this this uh, Saturday, uh, eyes I guess are always a big thing uh, playing defense, especially in the secondary. Um, so probably eyes are the most important. Thing. Robbie, you may know, but you have some pretty deep roots, family roots at the University of Montana. What's it been like for you? <laughs> To, uh, to to play this first half of the year and actually be on the field and doing it here for the Grizz? Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, it's truly been a dream come true. Uh, I just had so much fun. I've never had an experience like this before, and I'm so happy that I uh, got to play this year. And uh, you know, so far, everything's been pretty smooth, so hopefully it uh, continues to be so. You said after the game that Prother told you that that was – the most physical defense that he's faced is that maybe the number one compliment you can get from an opposing player as a yeah. defense. Yeah, no, I definitely think so. Uh, that's something we take pride of uh, on defense is being uh, one of the most physical and uh, relentless uh, defenses in the conference or the nation. And uh, physicality, um, swarming the ball are uh, two things we uh, we uh, you know work hard on for practice. Coach, what's it been like for you with Robbie here? That's been it. It's been fun. You know, for the entire family, it's been great being home. So uh, having him in the locker room has been, been enjoyable. I don't coach him much. But that, that falls on some other guys, and uh, they're bringing him along well. So it's it's been good, and it's been uh, fun to watch him grow along with our football team. Coach Portland State seems to do quite a bit of pre-snap deception, especially defensively. How do you, what goes into the preparation just sort of philosophically for that aspect of what they do? Well, it'll, you know, you got to get a beat on them, watch film, and see how much they decide to change next weekend when we play them. But, uh, you know, we need to, when they're moving around uh, pre and post snap, we need to take our markers and, and go with it uh, based on what they're giving us and then we have to have good footwork and be alert to what happens when they change post snap and hopefully we have them and that's just uh, the nature of playing a team that does those things so it can it can cause you problems sammy your uh your role on the team has you know gotten bigger this year how, how what's your mindset um going into you know as your role for for this team this year just trying to do my 111th, just trying to do what we worked on since January. I mean, we grind and grind and we put in the work as a team. And so when your number is called, you got to be ready. And that's all I've done is just do my 111th and keep my head down and keep working. Offensively, it seems like you guys are starting to, to roll a little bit, I guess. Do you feel that momentum and, and do you feel more comfortable as an offense as a whole right now? Most definitely you feel the momentum, but I feel like it just makes us more hungry. I mean, every time, I mean, that's how I view it. I mean, when we have a good week, I'm just like, man, let's capitalize on this. Let's do even better next week. And I feel like that's the momentum people are seeing. It's just, we just, we're hungry and we want more and more every week. Coach, another 
Player of the Week award for Dante. The Monday Dante Player of the Week award for Todd. What is what is he what is he bringing to this team right now that maybe is contagious to everybody else too? Well, there's a couple things that he does, and the, the first thing is is he's playing hard. He's a he's a fierce player, and he doesn't take a playoff, um, and and that's contagious. I think we've got a few guys on our defense that are playing that way, and that number grows week to week. And you know, when it's his play to make, he's making it. He's not he's not missing much. And so he's uh, that's what great players do. They take advantage of opportunity, and you know, good for him. When we have people win winning game balls, winning player of the week, then uh, that means we're doing things right. And, uh, you know, it, it's nice to have guys recognize it. But as he said when he's been here, you know, it takes 11 guys to do it. And uh, he's uh, he's doing his 111th very well. Sammy, another long touchdown this week. What what happened on that play? Dalton was standing back there for a while. Had you broken off your route by then? No, I actually just – carried through my route because I saw space and I was just like, man, I mean, if he finds me, he finds me, but I'm just keep running across and he ended up seeing me and I got the ball and took it to the end zone. Yeah, what's the competition like among the wide receivers? You got the four established guys, you got Gabe Salser getting touches now. What's that like in that room? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't really call it competition. I mean, I guess you could say it's friendly competition, but I'd say it's just like, we're happy for anybody. I mean, we want the team to eat. This isn't a, about a me. In our room, we have a team unit, me, me being last. So it's all about the team, and it about, it's about our group as a unit, and then you can talk about me at the end. But, I mean, as a group, when any of us gets a touchdown, and that's the tight ends included because they score passing touchdowns as well, just like us, they block. I mean, we're just trying to eat as a team, and that's all we care about in our receiver room, just the team success. Coach, when you're able to put up put out like a Gabe Solster and a Jerry um, together at one time and then another time go three tight ends and things like that. Um, how effective can that be and as a as a coach if you're trying to prepare for all those different formations and personnel, how you know how hard can that yeah, be? Yeah, one of the one of the things that uh, good offenses do is they make defenses adjust to them. You know, just line up one group, one or two formations. It's that's easy to line up and play on defense. So the more multiple we can be Personnel-wise, formationally, uh, the more difficult it is on defense is to game plan. And I think that the last couple of weeks we've, you know, we've shaken the tree a little bit, and a few new formations and groups have fallen out, and it's been hard on 